I am sick and tired of political correctness for so long by declaring that the law is always right from people in authority. I have rational reasons on why I lose my faith in people in authority. If I nicely told, are you being too harsh on the pawn people who did not get any hope because of your enforcements against them to people in authority? People in authority would say, no, I am just doing my job and he slash she broke the law and I have been honored for so many years to know about the law. That quote from people in authority is a red flag of pride. God said that pride is the root cause of evil and that pride is caring about one's self than caring about other people and that pride is that one's self is more important than anybody else. Why do people in authority have to be so lumpacious by having a right to bully pawn people? I do not believe that people in authority, educators, lawmakers, law enforcers, prosecutors, attorneys, judges, chancellors, tax collectors, commissioners, business corporates, media producers, censors, news reporters, board members of any type, superheroes, and authors of any medium are not heroes. One moment they are nice people and the next moment they are bullies by laying down the law and by giving threats of punishment. One moment a police officer is nice to the child to become a child's role model and the next moment a police officer arrests, kidnaps in my language, the same child for disagreeing with the police officer to break a child's heart by declaring that a police officer is never a child's role model. People in authority are using cover stories to protect their reputation to continue their acts of hypocrisy, to prevail their pride, to gain more money, and to declare a specific country as their own personal heaven. And people in authority punish their own people to gain more strength. Even though we show love to people in authority, people in authority at large continue to bully pawns for their own conquest. There were some U.S. people arrested or non-arrested who put their trust in the U.S. justice system by force and after putting their trust to the U.S. justice system, they received negative consequences, whammies, and they will say, I have no community because people in authority 
betray the trust. There is such thing as dysfunctional communities that people in authority treat some people like nobodies on purpose. Not everybody gets help and closure. I encourage children not to be friends with people in authority because the law is the bully of society and the idol of society and because the law can betray people during serving the law. From the words of syndrome from The Incredibles 1, you cannot count on anybody, including your hero. The following should be the real Pledge of Allegiance for the United States because of the enforcement of hypocrisy by human authorities. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the federal government that it stands. One nation under federal government with separation and with liberty for some and with justice for some. I give kudos to people who do not slash did not participate in the Pledge of Allegiance and slash or the National Anthem because there are people who receive slash received negative consequences by being betrayed after respecting people in authority and after loving their material country. It is idolatry to worship a nation's flag. Any country on earth is not heaven. Or to worship people in authority. People in authority are not God. God hates idolatry because idolatry is focusing on the material things instead of focusing on God with his promises. If you focus on the material things, your heart will be broken with regrets. According to Daniel chapter 3, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to worship the golden image because they worshipped God instead of an idol, the golden image. And according to Daniel chapter 3, after King Nebuchadnezzar sentenced Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to the fiery furnace for refusing to worship the golden image. God saved Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the fiery furnace because of their belief with God. Our true citizenship is in heaven, according to Philippians chapter 3, verse 
20. I do not believe that there is such thing as positive opportunities for juveniles. And I do not believe that juveniles are the future of the nation because of the premeditated conspiracies against juveniles by putting too many limitations on juveniles so juveniles can get permanent negative reputation from juvenile age to adulthood. The reason is that adult leaders in each community set up premeditated conspiracies on purpose to treat juveniles as nobodies by age limitations, by sexual discrimination, by discrimination against skin color, by denying permission permanently, by not caring about the juvenile's hopes slash dreams, by subtracting juvenile's self-esteem, and slash or by setting up too many ridiculous laws so adults can have the solo glory with adults' pride. And this is abortion against juveniles of all ages. Nicholas Cruz was treated as a nobody during his high school years before he was expelled. And high school administrators who expelled Nicholas Cruz should be charged for bullying Nicholas Cruz. Every community leader, the real bullies, including the high school administrators during Nicholas Cruz's time at school plotted out the premeditated scheme to put Nicholas Cruz to heck on purpose. You should watch the Love Gov videos from the Independent Institute to understand the reality that government takes advantage of people. And I thank John Stossel for recommending this resource. Here is a list of the 24 charges against human authorities and here are my cultural beliefs. Consider that as my version of the Declaration of Independence. If founding a parental rating board is honorable, I am going to have my own parental rating board to rate on people in authority. And, by the way, parental ratings as facts count as political correctness. There should be comment cards onto superiors. And I am tired with the excuses from the government that the government has an honorable reputation. Have you ever learned about the first U.S. Revolution from U.S. history? There should be a second U.S. Revolution. Pawns 
are mad as heck. Without exceptions, we must hold superiors accountable for their bullish, selfish, felonious deeds and for misleading the people and seriously there are victims of hopelessness because of the enforcement of political correctness by enforcing their own laws without consequences superiors will never learn there is no statue of limitations for bullying by superiors over the years without exceptions. Superiors had too much power and too much freedom for too long over the years.